Oh, hey, everybody. Back out here at the bee yard, it's, it's a nice change of pace for me to be out here on a day I don't have to rush, a day that the weather's not giving me problems, um, and I can just relax. It sounds funny to say. We're gonna open up boxes full of stinging bugs, but we're gonna be relaxed. So um, this is called chamber, well, See if I remember, this is called chamber two. And uh, I put some, some queen cells in here a couple weeks ago, uh, 12 days ago. Let's see if anything happened. These queen castles, they'll let you, so you can see there, they're, they've been eating that pollen, but uh, these queen castles are, are cool. Something I'm trying this year for the first time, obviously nothing I came up with on my own. I'm not that creative, but uh, a lot of different ways to do these things. And uh, this is the way that some pretty successful people do it. So there's some capped brood, which um, I think based off the math would have had to been present prior as eggs. I don't know that it's reasonable to say this would have been a capped or a queen could have, have come back in the time. So I'm looking just scanning for a queen here. Trying to use my eyes and and see what we can see. I don't see any eggs at all. Looking inside the wall, see if maybe the queen's on the wall. And these are only two frames. So perfect for somebody with my attention span. <laughs> I wish I could keep bees in a two-frame hive, then I would have the attention to, uh, to do it properly. This is all nectar. I think this was put in as the food frame for them. They have pounded all of the syrup out of the jar, the sugar syrup. Okay, so no evidence there that there's a successfully mated queen, but it's, um, it's fine, it's not time to worry. We're early. We were early on that one. And if it doesn't work, you just put it back. Uh, now I do remember uh, chamber three. Chamber three has not gone through their syrup, which is fine. They have eaten significantly more of their pollen. Trying to keep my smoker lit. Don't always do good there with that. So <clears throat> this one here. Another medium I put in. Alright, some few pieces a uh, few few cat brood remain. Some larva. Oh. Oh friends. I see very young larva. I don't know how well it will show up, but in here, this area, there are some extremely young larvas. And that would indicate 
that there is a queen present. Probably not the best idea to hold it out here. If she falls off, she falls off. If she falls off out here, she lands in the hive. Okay, let's keep on moving and see if she's on this one. So one thing I'm, I'm noticing already with these two framers, this is where I think I need a, a, a frame grabber. My hands just, there's a queen. This bee right here, let me follow her right here. This is your queen. How cool. We went ahead and had a queen raised up. She's facing downward right there at the end of my finger. Is she in your frame? How wonderful. How exciting. Okay, let's look at some other cool stuff, friends. So here, off of the J end of my hook, this is a hatched queen cell. This is a non-hatched queen cell. This is a queen cell that's been ripped open. This is a queen cell, potentially that's hatched. <laughs> Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions to make. Let's find that queen again and catch her real quick once. Did you see where she went? I didn't either. Okay, she's still present. Okay, let's catch her and... Put an end to all that worriness of, of missing her. Come back here, little queen. And she keeps going and she keeps running from me. Okay, she's in the clip. So these little queen catcher clips, she's kind of a smaller queen. I'm a little bit nervous that she might be able to get through as if she were a worker. But you can see the workers can escape. Um, it's, it's uh, you know, sized for a queen excluder size. Please don't sting me there. And, uh, all right. Well, that's pretty cool. So now with the, with this queen, you know, we have another potentially viable queen cell in chamber three. And we gotta make a decision. We don't have to make it right now. But the decision we need to make is if do we take this queen who is um, playing and do we um, introduce her into chamber two that doesn't appear to have a viable queen at this time? I don't know. What's the answer? Oh, 
Okay. All right, so here, this is cool. I wonder if she can get out. Doesn't appear. This is a queen marking cup. Never used it before. I just got it the other day. But it's, it's pretty, well, it's a single purpose tool. She is doesn't like this. I don't, I'm not saying she's wrong, gosh. I feel almost bad for doing this. But this is so that, that you can get her up there, Leslie, and um, mark her, her, mark her thorax, or is that the right word, thorax? But she's such a small queen. It's, it, it doesn't pinch her. So it doesn't really pinch her um, as firmly as you might like. But we're just gonna put that white dot on her. Oh, don't open that one. No, no, don't open that one. Boy. That didn't feel good. I didn't feel good at all. I don't think I like doing that. Maybe I'm just clumsy. Okay, white queen, back in the box. <laughs> 